Hey, buddies, Potato Big Whiskey here, and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization VI as the Khmer. Now, where we left off, we were in the process of getting a bit of infrastructure up. We were getting stuff like mosques. We were getting our final settler. We're building up these other cities here. This city actually just finished its granary, I believe, which means it can continue to grow. So I'll put it on growth focus for now. I'm going to grab the aqueduct as well to continue to push its growth into higher levels. And then I'll get, probably after that, I'll get the holy site. So this city needs more housing. I can't really do anything with that to improve that situation right now. I'm going to send one single envoy with Bandar Brunei in order to pick up the plus one, the little bit of gold in my capital. Is that plus four gold? Yeah, yeah, plus four gold. Absolutely excellent. I know that there, there's supposed to be a religious city-state around here somewhere. I remember that from my stream. So I'm avoiding wonders and stuff like that. I'm going to want to settle over there. I will bring a crossbowman here to that tile to protect it. Looks like there's an Indonesian... Indonesian Great Admiral. Now, I would like to get the mosque up, but I'm going to quickly finish the theater square for the plus one culture. We're about to finish feudalism, so we can start building builders soon, without feeling guilty about it. So you finished your harbor. Uh, you're almost going to be ready to build your things. I'm going to tell you to pick up a monument here, just to get your borders growing a little bit. I also want ancient walls, but I don't know if I have time to really build that. It will be useful to grab them if I can. How do you feel, Monsieur or Madame? So you're not interested in a delegation for me. That's fine. How would you How would you feel about open borders, though? So you will take that for one gold per turn from me. That's fine. I'll take that deal. I just want to explore you a little bit. Not like that. <laughs> we can purchase a guru. I think I'm going to grab a missionary here. Even though I don't have the mosque, I just want to start getting my... I want to start getting cities converting because I, I want to get up and ahead when it comes to uh, when it comes to China. So his cities will convert to me eventually. But I want to... Uh, I want to just make sure I win this little religion war that we've got going on here. So I'm probably going to convert Agra to keep pushing my religion along here. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to begin attacking India here to eradicate their religion. So Chengdu is an interesting choice. I could trade with Jan, but I think Chengdu is actually still worth more. I could do internal trade routes as well, but I think I'm going to trade with Chengdu again because it's plus 2 production, plus 9 Gold and plus one sides. And it'll also spread my religion a little bit. Now, I mean, I could also trade with Jan and spread my religion. Sacrifice the uh, five gold and what, and get faith instead of science. You know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to get my religion spreading to Jan. I feel like there should be benefits for trading with your own religion. Maybe I'm crazy. But we are we are going to want to get commercial hubs up now because they can you can use them to spread your your religion internationally, so that's something we definitely want to do. And actually, you know what? That actually also makes external trade routes here. Where are they? There's there's a there's a tech here that gives you yeah here mercenaries, which is trade confederation gives you culture and science from international trade routes. That could be very useful. We are going to want to pick up trade routes here when we can. Oh, you know what I should have built in this city? I should have built a trader so I can continue to spread my religion out. I feel like the holy city should get like a plus one, like an extra little bit of pressure when you're trading from it. I don't know. Maybe that would just be nice. I'll have to talk and see. See if I can find a modder to, uh, to implement my cool ideas that I have. Right, guys? I mean, I have these really great ideas, but I can't do anything else myself. It certainly makes me special, right? <laughs> uh, okay, we did get feudalism, so now we can switch out the settler policy. 
and we can put in the builder policy. Then I'm going to take the plus 100% holy side bonuses to get me that little bit more faith. And there we go. So you've got one more turn until I can push you towards working other things. You still have room to grow, but I'm going to leave you in this faith in production mode. I'm going to grab the mosque. I want a monument in here again because I'm trying to get through the civic tree relatively quickly here and shaving a couple of turns off this would be really nice. So it looks like there's some relatively open land out here. We can also start building builders now. I feel comfortable going for it. We have an industrial zone available, which is good. The plus one production from mines are going to be useful for this city. Uh, let's see. So in terms of what am I going to do next? I have a good few options. I would like to get to steel because this would give me my my city's combat strength improved and these things on the top end of the tree I don't really see much need for them there is movement from embarked units and gold from boats I mean these are reasonable things to get I think I'll pick up my dom unit just so that I can say that I have it and, and maybe purchase a couple of them if I need, need them particularly badly. I do need to be careful with my gold here. To the point where I'm considering getting commercial hubs here. And I will, I will throw down the commercial hub. I'll just lock that in as a choice because I do think I need them. Um, but I'm going to pick up a granary in this city. Again, I just need to keep pushing the growth up. Okay, we'll do some exploration over here. So it looks like these guys are at war. I'll spread there. So he's upset about me and my prosethalizing. I'm sorry. If God wills, then I shall do it. So it looks like China's conquering cities here. So we're going to want to launch an inquisition here to fight off these missionaries. Maybe get an Apostle if we can. We're two turns away from an Apostle. Thankfully we have a lot of pressure. Okay. So. We finished the Mosque in here. Let's go ahead. What's next? I think Builders are next. Need to develop our territory. I have another envoy. I'm not really sold on using that right now. We did find Candy. I will send an envoy to Candy because I do want to get Candy underneath my belt if I can. Because they give you the relic every time you discover a new natural wonder and 50% rel faith from relics. So I'm going to want Candy underneath my wing. So he went for an Inquisitor. That's actually going to line up really nicely. Because I'll be able to spread. I'll be able to get this missionary killed and get a relic. We'll settle right here. Oh my goodness, I think somebody is chainsawing something down the road. Okay, this is coastal on a river. I'm, I'm going to go for the... I'm just going to go for a granary in here to grow it a little bit. I have enough pa faith to purchase an apostle. I think I will pick up an apostle here to fight off some of these guys. Oh no, I don't. Never mind. Apologies, I will look elsewhere in the future. So I am going to get a little spread off here. 
So he just lost Taoism around here. I think I think China might have pillaged one of their um I think China might have pillaged one of their uh thingies. So I'm gonna spread Islam here. And then he should kill this. Hopefully he'll kill this. And then that'll give me my first relic. I'm gonna do something similar here. I'm gonna purchase an apostle to fight. Well, it really depends on the promotion I pick up for that apostle, to be honest. So we got our first relic. Very good. 12 faith, 24 tourism. Natural philosophy, great library. So that is recorded history we just picked up. All right, we finished the builder. Let's take uh, let's take stock of our options here. I think I definitely want lumber mills on these three tiles. So let's get started on that. That'll give this city an unparalleled amount of production. I'm also going to pick up ancient walls here to provide defense for this city. Okay, so I finished my granary in here. Plenty of room for growth, so I'm going to put this now onto... I'm going to take it off this. I'm going to put it onto food... Food focus to keep it growing. Um... And then I'll grab this commercial hub because I really need the gold. So let's have a look at the promotion. There is a natural wonder here, so I'm going to take the pilgrim promotion. So we're going to want to head up here and see if we can finish off spreading to China. So you would like to trade cotton for elephants again and you'll even give me some money. I'll take that deal. That seems reasonable to me. Sure thing. The religion game certainly feels different. It feels a little bit nicer. I will say that. So you're trying to spread here to all my cities. This is a major defeat, even though I'm attacking a missionary with an apostle. I'll do some damage just to reduce how much spread pressure they can exert. Okay, I got this trader in here. I'm going to move this to my capital because I want to trade with China to get some of my money because that's where I'm primarily getting my cash right now. I'm going to finish the monument in here. I'll continue building lumber mills. It'll make these tiles really, really good. You can see there. We are focused on production in this city. Production and faith right now. Hmm, that's an interesting set of choices you made. I think these are too good to, un to unwork. We're focused on production on faith, but we still do want a little bit of food. I mean, I guess I could do something like this. If I went food focus, you do have room to grow, so I'll put you on food focus for now. Okay, you should be on production focus because you can't grow right now. I can purchase a missionary. Just heal. Go here and build another one of those. So let's see if I can find a good gold trade route here. Might be a good idea to trade with India to get my pressure pushing over here. I think I'm going to grab the gold from trading with China though, as well as increasing my pressure over there. Looks like they're fighting over here with their religion. That's good for me. It means less, less units I have to worry about fighting. Okay, you finished a mosque in here. I think I'm going to skip the industrial zone in this city. Instead, I'm going to start building builders. Okay, we got the aqueduct in here. 
go ahead and get your holy site up now. The city is starting to become fairly well developed. It could use builders, but we'll send builders from other cities in a moment. Here's another lumber mill. That should make that a workable tile. And then I'll probably go get this online. That'll be one, two, three. Yeah, this will be plus one housing, presumably. So we'll send you down to get that fish up. So I have a healed up missionary here. Can you attack this guy? We'll do a little bit of damage to him. Just trying to reduce the amount of spread power he has, really, at this point. We kind of need to build up our armory, army of apostles for combat. Okay, we got military engineering. That's niter. We did find a source of niter, actually. I think we already have it improved now. Okay, I think I'm going to grab a missionary. I'm going to grab a couple of missionaries here. I want to start spreading my religion. I'm going to spread it to China again. Now, I do think I already have China underneath my belt. But I want to secure China so that I can get the... Uh, to get their pressure emanating. Okay, we just picked up military engineering, so the Domri is an option. Again, I want to get the steel because this provides me with defensive, the ability for my cities to defend themselves. Um, cartography would be worth a lot of gold for me because I do have some fishing boats. I could use some gold. I don't really have many quarries. Being able to embark could be useful. I'll grab shipbuilding because I'd like to be able to embark my units. Just as a general <laughs> as a general thing. All right, I'm gonna build builders in here. Okay, I have a monument here in Yaso Darapura. Good. I'm gonna get started on that industrial zone. I'm going to claim this tile. I'm going to drop the industrial zone. You're going to heal for a turn. I'm going to have you come explain, explore down here. I believe Candy, is this Sri Lanka? I can't remember if this is Sri Lanka. Or maybe its old name is like Ceylon. I can't remember. That's someone who works for the federal government. Okay, so we have meritocracy now. I think I'm going to lose plus one production. I think the extra culture here is worth more. And that should give me a decent amount of culture in my empire. We have an apostle. An apostle with a lot of spreads. I'm going to start sending this apostle up this direction to fight this way. I'm going to send these missionaries over to fight in India. I want to see if I can get more pressure going over here. Plus, the extra relics are also welcome because they provide 12 culture per turn each. Well, I guess I could get my Apostle to do a bit more damage here. Okay, Builder has been completed. Let's have a look. What are the major tiles I want to improve? I could use Lumber Mills here to provide a little bit more production. Mainly I could use a little bit of housing in here. So I'll grab some farms. Let's keep getting builders. We'll drop a fishing boat here. That'll give this city now a nice little boost. Next turn. Oh my god, look at this army. I need units if I can get them. Okay, I'm going to send this builder over to improve this city a little bit. You're going to keep making builders though. Okay, I would like you to get me a harbor right there. That it strikes me as a good spot for the harbor. I 
I want to hit this guy again, because again, I want to reduce his, um, his power of faith spreading. I'm going to want to get another Apostle here in a moment. I can't purchase a Mosque, but I don't want to yet. The dividend, the returns on that doesn't seem worth it to me. Okay, I have one build charge in here. I will send it over to the city. Go get that silk online. I'll build a farm here. That gave the city plus one housing, I think. Which means it has room to grow again. Which means it could use a surplus of food. Um, I'll leave it on what it is right now, because it's generating a lot of faith. Okay, you want to trade great works. I'm not interested in that, thank you. My great works provide me a lot of power. Am I generating the most tourism in the game, out of curiosity? No. But it's a lot of tourism from that. Okay, you should heal up here. Okay, I can purchase an Apostle. I will do so. Get started on a farm here. I might do a farm triangle and then a couple of these will be lumber mills. Okay, I need to fight off these guys. I need to get a gang of... I need to get like a missionary squad. Okay, so we got Divine right. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Do I switch to Monarchy here? No. I need to wait until I switch to uh, Reformed Church. Right, so we picked up the shipbuilding tech. I think it's time that we picked up some more unit techs. Namely, I'm interested in maybe going for the ballistics tech for the field cannon, because that's going to provide me with those a crossbowman upgrade. And it's on the way to steel. So we're going to go to ballistics here to pick up boosts. What kind of promotion can you take? Debater, excellent. It's exactly the sort of boost I wanted on this guy. But uh, I think I'm going to call that an end to this episode. I think we're making good progress. I think we have a potential win on our on our hands here. Um, so I hope you guys are enjoying this series. Please remember to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Remember to leave a like if you want to directly support my channel and my personal success on YouTube. Remember to leave a comment if you want to give me your feedback. And remember that I love you all very much. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.